Yo, what's going on guys? Doug Sensor Martin here. Hope you guys are having a great day. And uh, this is a video, I, I really saw this video coming, but I think it's time for me to do this and it's time for me to move on to my next chapter in my life. Um, but I just wanted to sit down with you guys and talk to you guys about a lot of different things. So first of all, we haven't uploaded in a couple of weeks. I've been making a lot of decisions behind the scenes, guys. Life-changing decisions for me uh, personally that I'm, I'm very happy and very excited and very proud to be a part of. First things first, we launched a new product called Control. It's a meal replacement. That was the last video that I spoke about. It sold out within the first 36 hours on the pre-launch, and then we relaunched it on Friday. Uh, and I can't wait for you guys to get your bags of it. You guys, this entire week, are going to be getting Control. So I really encourage you guys to go on Twitter, just make a video, and show me your reaction. If you like it, if you don't like it, I don't really care. I don't really mind. I just want to know what you guys think because I'm just so proud of being a part of that. That's number one. Number two, I filmed this secret project that I still am not allowed to talk about. And then number three is my new Call of Duty team, which I'm going to get into towards the end of this video. But I really wanted to take this time right now to just sit down and talk to you guys about this logo that's on my chest right here and how big of a impact it made on my life in the past five years of my life. So I just want to take you guys back again to my college days. When I was in college, I saw Nade Shot doing his thing with Optic Gaming, and I really wanted to come back as a professional Call of Duty player. I never wanted to stop playing. I always wanted to play, but I didn't think there'd be some sort of a future with gaming. I just thought that um, I was living in like the peak days back in like 2010 to 2012. I thought that it was like the prime, and, and gaming was going to kind of just die down, and nobody would believe in it. But it turns out gaming became a pretty big thing over the last decade of, of life. So I decided to stop going to college with no money in my bank account, no degree, nothing. I said, you know what, I'm good at Call of Duty. I'm gonna be the best Call of Duty player. I'm gonna come back and I'm just gonna win and everything's gonna work out. And I had no idea what I was doing. And, and luckily for me, FaZe Clan took me in and FaZe Clan gave me a chance and an opportunity to be their captain. And those guys taught me everything about branding, content, live streaming, videos, editing, you name it, man. I mean, these guys taught me everything that I know today, and I'm always going to be grateful for that. So I ended up joining FaZe Clan, winning some championships under FaZe Clan, having some highs and lows with FaZe Clan, uh, making a lot of content with the guys, especially in the New York house back in the day. Uh, some of those memories that we had together were amazing and incredible and just um, an amazing time of life. And I'll always cherish those times. But now it's at a point where I don't believe FaZe Clan has a spot in the Call of Duty uh, League, and if they did, they never told me about it. So I don't know if they're going to have a spot or not, but all I want to do is be a professional Call of Duty player. As you guys all know, I've wanted to be a professional Call of Duty player this whole time. I never really wanted to get into the world of just being a content creator and just being like a daily vlogger or being like a guy who just makes challenges and pranks and stuff. I mean, I love doing that. I love making content, but at heart, like in my soul, I am a professional Call of Duty player. I am a gamer, like at, at, at most. Like I love playing video games and that's just where I want to be with my life. Um, I don't know what I'm going to be doing when I'm 30. I don't know what I'm going to be doing when I'm 35. I don't know what I'm going to do when I'm 40 or 50. I'm just trying to worry about today and this very moment. And right now at this current time, I feel I'm in the prime of my life. I'm uh, mentally speaking in a great spot. Physically speaking, I'm in a good spot. And I just feel really, really excited. And I just want to be able to get on every single day with a purpose and a plan. And I felt as a content creator, especially especially like 2016, 2017 and on, I felt like I was making videos every single day, just vlogging or making a challenge or something. And, and I would just keep doing it. And it was only to maintain a certain number of views on my channel to continue growing my YouTube channel, continue just getting more money and making more views. And after I did that for a little bit of time, I realized to myself, what am I doing with my life right now? Like, all right, it's, it's nice to make money. It's nice to have like this, this opportunity and all that. But like, I don't feel like I have some sort of purpose with this. I don't feel like I have anything with this. I, I just don't feel alive inside. I feel like I'm dead. You know, I don't, I feel like I'm here, but I'm not here. Does that make any sense to you guys? Like, I just felt like I was living my day, going by the routine day by day, not doing something I was hundred percent passionate about. But at the same time, I wasn't, you know, employed by anyone. Like I was just doing my own thing and I was working for myself and it was weird because I didn't have anyone to talk to about it. And I didn't, you know, have all my, all my friends were like eventually traveling and going different places and growing up and getting jobs. So I didn't really have friends to be in my videos with me. And, and I'm just sitting there and I'm alone in my house and I'm like, what am I going to do with myself? Like, I, I just don't feel alive. I need to do something more. I need to be something more. And I wanted to be a professional Call of Duty player this whole time. So I'm like, all right, well, FaZe, I want to play in the team. And obviously, you guys know what happened if you watched my video last month where I titled it Heartbroken. I'm not going to get more into the details of why I wasn't on the FaZe team. But um, I really wanted to compete. So I ended up doing that. And I had a great time in the World War II season in 2017. Wasn't able to win a championship with the teams. But you know what? It's something that I knew that I loved, even though I wasn't in a happy situation with my teams or, or we weren't winning or whatever the case may be. I just knew I loved competing. And I knew I loved being a part of a system and with a team. And that's where I wanted to really be. So now I'm at a point where I have officially signed a contract with a professional Call of Duty team. 
um, pending league approval, obviously, and that is going to have to cut my affiliation with FaZe Clan. So it's time to move on for a new chapter, man. Um, I love FaZe. I always will. I'll, I'll never forget about what FaZe has done for me personally as a, as a human, what the guys have taught me in the house, uh, specifically in 2015 when the guys were all in New York and I was coming into the New York FaZe house every day and I was hanging out with Apex and, and Temper and Rain and Blaziken and, and Tico and Adapt and Banks and all these dudes and Sensei would be coming, Nikon would be coming over every single other day. There was always someone new in the house and we'd always be making videos. And, and really like that year of my life, I think really shaped where I am today as a person. And they taught me so many different things about just how to go about life and how to make content and how to just make yourself seem, I don't know, interesting. Because that's what content really is at the end of the day. You have to give people something to look forward to. And FaZe Clan really did that to me. So I want to give a huge thank you to them. Uh, but now it's at a point where I want to be a professional Call of Duty player and I can't do that under FaZe. So my only option is to either stay in FaZe Clan and kind of just sit around and be in my house in Long Island and not really do anything or take a leap forward into something new and to try to be a part of something big and something that's starting fresh with Call of Duty franchising. This is obviously the first year of it and I think it's a really important year and I want to be right there day one on a franchise ready to go. And that's, that's where I see my future being. I don't know how long that'll be for. I don't know what I'm going to be doing, but for right now, that's what I want to be doing with my time. And um, it just feels like the right thing for me. So I want to give a huge thank you to FaZe Clan. I want to give a huge thank you to all the supporters, anyone who supported me over the years, anyone who has followed me because of FaZe or, or have known of me because of FaZe or seen how much FaZe has grown in the past five years because it's pretty incredible what FaZe is doing now at Fortnite and how big the brand is getting. And I'm very proud that I was a member of FaZe Clan but now it's the time for me to move on to my next chapter. Um, with all that being said, I'm ready to move on. <laughs>